She's a household name in South Carolina politics, and now Lynn Bennett is officially a House representative for District 114. In this edition of Quintess Close Ups, I speak exclusively with her one on one. Lynn! Hey. How are you? I'm great, buddy. How are you? I'm doing just great. And you know, I want to say before I begin the interview, congratulations to you. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I'm humbled and honored to be elected as a representative to the State House. Um, who would have thunk it? Me, a little army brat. You know, my dad was in the service right. and then moving to Charleston with my husband and oh, yeah. just falling in love with my community. You know, that, that's all that happened. You know, I want to take you back to Thursday because I was just telling you that I interviewed Kevin Hollinshed for Plankton's Low Stuff yesterday. Great guy. He really is. Yes. And as you know, his wife passed away a couple of years ago. Yeah, I know. And I asked him what was it like to see, if his wife were alive, what would it be for her to see him on the school board? And I'm going I'm to ask you this too. If your mom were alive right now, what would it be for her to see you as a House Representative for District 114? She would be excited. She would be. She was excited. When I announced that I was running, yes. it's just it's a shame that she's not here to enjoy this with me. Yeah. But I know that uh, Jesus is keeping her up to date, yes, yes. so I'm sure she knows everything that's going on. But my dad is still here, yes, yes. and he was with me on election night, and he was out there partying with all of them. So I'm I'm blessed um, that even though she's not here, I can still feel her love oh, yeah. and her pride in her children and me just being one of three. And let me stay on that because I know that you were up in Columbia uh, early this week. Love that city, by the way. But, um, and that's where I want to live one day. Okay. <laughs> it's crowded. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, we are now, too. too right. Yeah. And you mentioned on Facebook that you basically solicited prayers. Uh -huh. And I'm wondering, as you head into the legislative session in January, in January, what is something that you're praying to God that you can get done for the constituents of House District 114? Well, the number one question that I got when I was campaigning was 526. Yeah. And you know, that what makes that so difficult is it's a multifaceted event. It takes the county and it takes the state. Um, and trying to get everyone to be on the same page is going to be the trick. And I believe we can do that with prayer. I mean, God can move mountains. He can certainly move stubborn people right. easily, you know? <laughs> You're right about that. And let me stay in Columbia because, God, we've been in the news all week. Yeah. If it's not uh, Governor Nikki Haley being considered as Secretary of State, it's uh, Lieutenant Governor Henry Bimaster, who yes. wants to be a part of the Trump administration. Yes. Then you have Matt Moore. Of course, he his name is on the list of people who are in the running for the Republican uh, National com uh, Committee. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me, why now? Why now? Why South Carolina? Why now? Well, I don't know why now. It's all God's timing, and I never try to second guess what God's doing. But I think it's wonderful for us as a state to have raised up so many good people yeah. who are servants to the people around them, who want to serve, who want to do good jobs, who want to make life better in everything that they touch. True. So. My feeling is that God established this. We yeah. just happen to be blessed to witness it, and that's what's going on. I don't know if any of them will get selected yeah. or elected or whatever has to go on with them, but I'm just proud that we've gotten to a point where people pay attention to us. Because I, you would probably remember as well as I, there was a time no one paid attention to us. Right. Right. You know, so I think it's great that we have leaders that are are so dynamic yes. that they're noticed. Mm -hmm. um, I know that you're a House representative right now. Yes. This is just a joke. <laughs> but let's see, Lynn Bennett for governor, 2018. That's a joke. You're right. <laughs> of course, I, I have no, no, no intentions of doing that. And I say that okay. with my tongue on my cheek oh. because I never had any intentions of doing this either. Right. And what I do is I just try to listen to God yeah. and His movement and where He where I feel like he's trying to tell me to go. Um, I don't think I always get it right. Okay. I got it right this time, right. apparently. Yes. Um, so we'll see what God has in store for us. Um, we have some good people who could serve as governors. Sure. We have a pot to pick from. Oh, yeah. I think when we get to that point, we're going to be like the national election. We have so many people, we're going to all be confused. You know what I mean? <laughs> I hope I can interview most of them. I we'll hope see. you can, too. Yeah. yeah. 
Well, House Representative Lynn Bennett, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate this. Well, thank you for having me. And let me say hi to your wonderful fans. I see them all over Facebook and Twitter. You have the most amazing followers. And I want you to know how much we all love and appreciate you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. You're welcome. Thank you.